football at Brookhaven High School took a turn for the worse after a halftime performance by the Forest Hill High School band left them speechless. The performance was based loosely on the movie John Q, where the band's performance depicted a hostage scene that included toy guns. It's cool is under fire tonight for a halftime performance in Brookhaven that featured toy guns and portrayed violence. I was sad because of what happened last weekend, and it felt like they were making fun of it. This comes as the Brookhaven community mourns the death of two officers who recently died in the line of duty. Two police officers were shot and killed while answering a shots fired call in the community just last week. After the performance, a picture surfaced on social media showing band members pointing fake guns at pretend officers. People in this area say it was in bad taste, especially after last week's shooting. It, it just doesn't matter. In this day and age, it's just totally bad taste. Our, our people are, are hurting right now, and, and to bring that to us uh, on the a couple of days after we're burying two officers was just inappropriate. For me and the rest of the citizens of Brookhaven, at just how disrespectful that was to come and do that on the field. At the halftime performance, just because of everything that our community is going through. It's supposed to be about football, and, and I was a band, I have a passion for music, but, and that makes me embarrassed for bands too, you know? That, that's such a... To the Forest Hill, however, I think when they decided to do that performance, they should have taken consideration that we was already going through a lot at this time, and we still, you know, trying to figure out what needs to be done about the situation. I just wish they had just thought about it before they did it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying they, they went out there to really to hurt our, us on, on purpose. I just think they just weren't really thinking this. Brookhaven residents say they are outraged and offended by this performance. It's appropriate. Senator Curry wasn't the only state leader to speak out about the performance. The governor took to Twitter. He tweeted, this is unacceptable in a civilized society. Someone should be held accountable. Jackson Public Schools, which oversees Forest Hill High School, released a statement saying students were acting out a scene in the movie John Q. They went on to say, JPS has a great deal of respect and appreciation for our law enforcement partners. The band's performance does not depict the values and people in our community and was incredibly insensitive to the students, families, law enforcement officials, and the entire Brookhaven community. Jackson Mayor Shokwe Lamumba also issued a statement mentioning there is an active investigation into the performance. It reads in part, it is the responsibility of adults to offer guidance to youth. Our students should have been instructed that this was neither the time or place for that performance. In Brookhaven, Linnea Lewis. Superintendent Green also sent this statement apologizing for the band's actions. He says JPS has a great deal of respect and appreciation for our law enforcement partners. The band's performance does not depict the values and people in our community and was incredibly insensitive to the students, families, law enforcement officials, and the entire Brookhaven community. For